Okay, let's all do like a little group high five before we get begin the video. It's just like a little union showcasing because this is about to get gruesome. So put your put your fingers on like the circles there. Okay, three, two, one. Congratulations, you've just killed yourself. That immortal snail video will not die. I think the immortality from the snail got sucked into the video somehow. Every few months it starts to chill out and then it just suddenly gets another erection and then I get more suggestions telling me on what I can do to stop the immortal snail. So it's been a year since that video and I thought why don't we revisit this topic again to debunk why some of your suggestions are dumb and also give more of mine because I am better than everyone else. So quick recap if you don't know what this is all about. It all started from a post that was made a long while ago. You're given millions of dollars and immortality but there is also an immortal snail whose primary focus is to find you and touch you. And once it touches you, you die. So a common suggestion I see a lot is to befriend the snail. And that's honestly really cute, you know. And in a world as cruel and brutal as our reality, it's really cute to see innocent acts of kindness still being thought of. If you were a pussy, what are you, a coward? Do you think that the snail would return the favor? No. You think it would appreciate the mercy you've given it? No. Welcome to the real world. Oh shit. There is no tooth fairy, there is no Easter buddy, and there's no more queen of England. Live in the real world, guys. There's only corruption, pollution, injustice, and an immortal snail that can kill you with a single touch. I had like a whole argument with my friend because they thought that the best way out of this would be to befriend the snail and make like some sort of pact with it. No, we don't know if this snail has any feelings or empathy. This, this face, look at this face. This is a super intelligent snail that is programmed to kill you. If it didn't have either of these, it would be the same thing as programming Sophia the robot's to-do list be your homicide. Well, are you going to sit the snail down in the meeting and be like, trade offer, I get no fear of death and you get a friend. What would the snail gain from that? No one wants to be your friend. Now my plans in my previous videos were all things that would require a substantial amount of effort or money, such as putting it into layers of cement and dropping it into the Pacific Ocean, implanting a tracker on it, and then finally sacrificing a French person's life. So in this video, I'll be showing you low budget and easy methods to get rid of the snail for dummies. The first idea I had required days of thinking. It had to be something that was easy, but something that was also really tactical. Something ingenious even, that's never been thought of by the human mind. Something that did not require that much brute force, cost, or French. But finally, after long hours, weeks even of hard work, I finally came up with a solution. This is the snail. Turn it upside down. There, behold, you've immobilized it. Is it gonna get up? With what arms? Alright, now let's think of how this plan could be foiled. The snail species is not specified. We don't really know what shape the shell could be. It could be a cone, it could be a donut, something else. However, if we think of it in like a traditional round donut manner, if we flip it around, it would most likely just roll back into position. Thus, we will need a hyper-technologically advanced piece of equipment to keep it in place. And I have just the thing for that. Glue. Gorilla glue. According to my research, aka a Quora answer, so you know it's legitimate, someone used Gorilla glue on their thing to fix it and it is still holding up fine after 7 years. Now with our millions of dollars, I'd say we just hire a guy whose job is to dunk a new batch of Gorilla Glue onto this snail like every few days or so. And what's even better is that glue is transparent, so we can visibly see where the snail is as well as its suffering. I don't think you can breathe in glue. So basically, since the snail is immortal, it will either suffocate, die, come back to life, 
continue to suffocate, die, or it will just keep suffocating for the rest of its life. And you don't even have to feel bad about it because I'm pretty sure that snails can't feel pain. I should probably fact check that. Give me a second. Oh no. Oh my god, they can. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> but let's think about this though. How would a super intelligent snail find its way out of this one? It's literally just brute force keeping it in place. What's it gonna start doing, huh? Solve a math equation? Is it gonna y equals mx plus c its way out of this one? Start doing algebra? But hold on, okay, let's just segue a bit about that. We need to know our enemy in order to defeat it. When they say it's super intelligent, do you think that they mean it can also have feelings? It can contemplate, it can bargain, it can have its own goals and wants and feel pain? Or is it solely like IQ smart, where it can think of genius solutions to get to its goal? I'm writing this because it is the smartest equation I could ever think of and it's literally just a line with no care on what needs to be sacrificed because if it's the latter, the, you know, the one where it does have feelings then yes, some of you are right, we could have the option of befriending it but there's actually another option we could have so hear me out we ask it politely to stop using torture we know snails can feel pain now so what if? Okay, I want okay, I want to stay in college, so I should probably be very careful on how I word this. What if we put it in a condition of horrendous, mind-blowing, absolutely soul-breaking and crushing amounts of pain and we keep it in that state of pain unless it stops moving. So if it even moves 1 millimeter, we continue the pain and if you want to be humane we can feed it like a piece of leaf on sundays to keep it like from starving you know basically hear me out the snail is here and then we do what i like i will call a salt ground so salt all the way around the snail yeah so it can't really move without burning and then we add acid and then we just you know what just might as well put some freaking lava in there why not and we only give it like a tiny little hole for it to remain in place and then after that to put the cherry on top we kidnap the snail's families and loved ones and dangle them over the salt acid fire pit and then tell the snail if it even moves one millimeter we're gonna stop dropping its children in there snails produce a lot of eggs we have many options to choose from. Researchers at the University of Calgary have demonstrated to us that invertebrates are capable of learning from fear, which shows us that the immortal snail can live and learn the consequences of its actions. Damn, I am good at this! So that's our fail-safe plan for if the snail has any capability of emotions and empathy, which I realized that I might be lacking a little bit. My next idea that I just thought of is to uh, gaslight it, you know? We tell it that it's the one that has to run from us, because if we touch it, it'll die a painful death. So basically, we make ourselves the snail, and we just really gaslight it. Okay, this is, this is, well, this is somehow worse than the acid salt lava thing. We just start like manipulating it, being like, No, I'm the snail. You're the one that wants to run away from me. It's okay, I know you're super intelligent, but we can't all be smart all the time. We just really fuck it up, bro. Who's it gonna ask to make sure? Who can it turn to? No one. No one can tell it that it's actually the snail. Because no one can hear it ask for help. The cons of this is that if it really is gaslighted into thinking it's the human and we're the snail, it's also super intelligent so it could probably come up with a million ways to kill us or like torture us and keep us in captivity like we've done to it. So uh, we probably shouldn't do this one. Okay, here's my last idea. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Have you guys ever heard of this? A Glock. Shoot it. Shoot the snail with a Glock. Keep the snail inside of a bulletproof box that is inside of another bulletproof box that is inside of another bulletproof box 
and then keep like a little tiny hole in here and then put a Glock, shoot it. It's even better if you keep a CCTV on it so that we can watch it squirm. This is kind of morbid. Shoot it! Shoot the fuck! Shoot the snail! Shoot it! Okay, I'm just joking. We're not monsters, all right? We're not gonna shoot it with metal bullets because the bullets will be made of salt instead. Salt bullets! Okay, let's think of a non-gruesome way to deal with this, all right? Fine. What if we give the snail a nice little habitat to live in? We give it a lot of leaves, a natural habitat. We keep a camera in there, of course, to see how it's doing. But it's placed in like literally the best environment you could give a snail. There's blue skies, there's clouds, there's dirt, there's everything you could ever need. And if the snail really enjoys it, then it might not even feel the desire to leave and get you. Both of you can live happily in your own lives without fear, surrounded by your loved ones. Before you set the habitat on fire! Boom, 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 boom! Just get some like nuclear bombs. <laughs> Destroy every last piece of trust or security that the snail has. Ruin its perception of peace just as it's done to you so that the snail will live in fear of you rather than the other way around. Fear is the easiest method of control. You're not stuck with the snail. The snail is stuck with you. So yeah, that about concludes my final thoughts on the snail situation for now. Let me know if you also have any other ideas or if I should go to therapy. That being said, thank you for watching. Comment your ideas and suggestions. Please feel free to DM them to me also. I think it would be fun to read. That being said, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye bye.